Hey guys, Josiah here from Swim Decaters at thinkorswim.net and today I wanted to do a uh, quick tutorial on the Active Trader tab in Thinkorswim. Um, this is something that I've used a lot and uh, I think uh, I get the idea that there's a lot of people that don't know that this functionality is there and what it's used for and everything so I thought I'd go through it real quick and see if I can help those people out. Um, to get started, you're going to need to go to your charts, and I'm in simulated trading here, so I can just do whatever kind of orders I want here. Um, so I'm on the paper money side of Thinkorswim, and so I'm going to go to charts and flexible grid, and I just have that set to, um, you know, the basic chart layout, and um, what you're going to do to show active traders, go over here to the right-hand side, uh, to this column here, find Active Trader, click it, and it will activate it. Um, so what you're seeing here is your normal uh, ladder or depth of market dome, um, and so we have like a vertical listing of all the prices. You can zoom in to see the smallest increment available, which uh, for a normal stock would be one penny. Um, you can zoom out to uh, see more, uh, a, a wider uh, span of prices uh, with these zoom in and zoom out buttons over here. I'm going to zoom all the way back in though. This button here on the side uh, in between the zoom buttons will actually recenter the price. Um, and now it, I think it recenters itself automatically, but if uh, it gets out of. Uh, too out of whack, you can always click that yourself and manually recenter it. So what we got here, uh, we have some custom buttons up here and some input fields and stuff that you can customize your orders with. Um, so let's just dive into that first of all. Um, to customize how this is set up, there's two different things you'll do. Uh, for, for this part, you'll click this gear icon and so you can see here that this is a list of available buttons and uh, input fields and everything that you can put here on the uh, top of the active trader window and these on the right hand side here are the active ones the currently uh, the ones that are currently over here so we have first line and second line first line is going to be these up at the top the sell buy and all that uh, second line is going to be all this down here in the black and so there's a lot of different options available here you can add different um, uh, buy buttons uh, if you want to uh, join the bid or, or whatever um, you can click these move up move down buttons to customize what order they show up in click OK and that will apply it so there you can see I have different uh, different buy options available there too. I mean you can do the same thing for sell. Um, you can add different like uh, cancel type of uh, situations. You can kind of zero in on exactly what kind of orders you want to cancel. So like uh, cancel a specific order here. Uh, cancel all orders. Cancel only buys and cancel only sells. So you could add any of those that you want. Flatten buttons, those are always good to keep handy in case something gets out of whack. Um, quantity or quantity with buttons. Quantity with buttons is this right here with the uh, auto select buttons that you can automatically uh, scroll it up to that particular amount. Uh, and the reverse and time and force and, uh, and so forth. So anyway, that's how you customize that top uh, line and this line right here, with that first and second. Uh, this auto send, if you check that, it's going to automatically send an order as soon as you click anywhere on here. So if you click anywhere on the right, uh, the left hand side in the green, it's going to send that uh, buy order to the market. And if this is checked, it's going to send it automatically with no confirmation window. And over on the right hand side, if you click in the red, it's going to send a sell order. So if I wanted to sell, I could click over there. Since I have this unchecked, it's going to send up, uh, pop up this confirmation dialog, and then I can click send to confirm it. Um, if I want to auto send, um, 
So I can put an order right there and you can see it immediately popped up since I had that auto send feature enabled. Uh, one of the cool things about this is um, you can send one of these orders to the market then you can click and drag it and it will automatically update the order for you um, and update update your order to whatever price you drag it to. You can also do that over on the ladder here and click it and drag it to whatever price so you can actually see a little bit better the individual prices, the individual uh, cent increments or whatever uh, the uh, smallest tick is and you can drag it to the exact one you want. So that's uh, handy to know. Let me cancel that one. Um, so with quantity, these buttons will actually change based on your uh, what instrument you're trading. I'm trading a stock right now, and so these are appropriate. These sizes are appropriate for stocks. Um, but you can actually, you know, if you switch to a forex symbol uh, like the let's see, euro, U.S. dollar. Uh, you can see that it automatically updates to some good sizes for that. But those settings for what sizes those are are under order defaults. You go to setup menu, application settings, and then go to the order defaults tab, and you can ch change the uh, defaults for each of those and the increments as well. Um, let me head back over to a stock real quick. And um, so what I'm going to show you next, uh, so here we've got some setup options that we can do here. Um, along this top, if you click in the menu icon on the right-hand side and click Customize, you can change what, um, what headings are shown here. So right now you've got your uh, buys and sells, um, the current position that you have open, which is nothing currently, it's flat. Uh, the average price of the current position if you have one open, uh, any open profit and loss, and the daily profit and loss. And then you can uh, customize that by adding any of these columns here that you would prefer as well. Um, you can also change these column headers, volume, trade count, buy orders, bid size, and all that, by right-clicking anywhere on that column header and clicking Customize. And doing the same thing here, you can add any of these available fields to the uh, activated current set over here and a, a hit OK to apply and those fields will show up here and currently I have like a volume profile showing here and also a trade count profile showing here um, then we've got any open buy orders open sell orders um, and then you've got the um, depth of market on each side here and you can click anywhere in here to set your orders You've obviously got the price. Now one cool feature here is that once you actually execute a position or enter a position, the PL open will display for you, like if you enter here at 1257, um, the PL open would be zero at that price, and it would show you the loss if you came down here to 1240. It would show you what you would lose for each of these price increments. And then above that, it would show you what you would gain for each of those price increments. So that's kind of a handy little tool to have. Uh, since I'm in simulated trading, I'll just go ahead and uh, uh, join the bid and see an example of that maybe. Um, let's see if I can get executed here. Come on. Here, maybe I'll just drag it down to... Come on, execute me here. All right, there we go. Well, I'm not sure. Uh, well, I, it's probably because I'm on the uh, paper money side right now, and the paper money side of Thinkorswim is actually delayed by a little bit, so the actual price might have moved away from where it's currently showing. And uh, so it's not executing. I don't know exactly where the, the current bid and ask are because we're under a delayed situation right now. But anyway, so if I had been able to get executed, the uh, the estimated profit and loss for the position would um, be shown on the ladder there. So that's kind of handy to have. Now, um, 
let's take a look at what I think is the coolest part of this. Okay, so and just to just to note, you can click any of these buttons to quickly change the position size. That's what those are for. But the coolest part of uh, Active Trader that I I really like is the templates feature. And so you've got your single where you can just send a single order, a buy or a sell, by clicking anywhere in the uh, dome. Uh, you can also send an OCO, which is um, uh, it's going to send a uh, two orders, um, a buy stop or a buy limit or a sell stop or a, and a sell limit. And whichever one gets executed first, uh, the other one will be canceled immediately. Um, those are not, uh, I mean, those are great if you already have a position open, but what I really like is the trigger with bracket, which is where the first order that you actually send triggers a, an OCO to be placed. So, um, right here you can see I'm going to try to buy 500 shares, and if that gets executed, then I'm going to immediately place an order, an OCO order, to sell um, one dollar above and or sell one dollar below. Um, and so whichever one of those two OCO bracket orders gets executed first, the other one's going to immediately get canceled. So we can see an example of that. Um, let's see. I don't, I don't really know where the current price is right now, but you can see on the chart, I placed this order, and if it got filled, then these two orders would immediately get sent to the market as well. And um, then whichever one got touched first and, and executed, the other one would be uh, canceled. So another thing while I have this order open here is you can click and drag this and it will actually adjust the whole OCO regime here to uh, the same spacing that you originally started with until such time as you start um, changing the individual orders here. Now if I click and drag this it's just going to drag that individual order. Uh, it's not going to adjust the whole OCO since I uh, customized each of these cell orders um, and changed the original regime or whatever. So let me cancel all that and then it'll automatically cancel the OCOs. Um, the coolest thing that I really like is the ability to do uh, one order triggering multiple brackets. So I can actually, I can literally send an order that puts into the market. Um, a uh, up to three OCO groups. So um, if I just buy here, we'll say uh, you can see here if I squish this down, I don't know what those drawings are up there, um, but when I squish that down you can see all the different orders that are um, um, showing on the screen there. Uh, it's going to uh, place an order for 500 shares here, and if that gets executed, then it's going to immediately place these three OCO brackets, and you can kind of see how they're connected over here on the side, uh, the different, different lines connecting the other lines. Uh, so this group in the middle here, uh, whichever one of those gets touched first, the other one's going to be canceled. Then whichever one of the outside group gets touched will be canceled the other one will be canceled, and the same thing with uh, the farthest out group. And so it'll sell off the pieces in thirds uh, of the original position size. So that's kind of cool. Um, but where it gets really cool is the ability to create your own custom templates. And so what I have here is uh, I'll do a 50 cent stop, for, we'll say. So I've created all these different custom templates here for different size stops. Um, I was taught to trade in risk units, so when I place a trade, I try to make, uh, you know, maybe 1.8 or 2 times or 2.3 times my initial risk amount. So if I have a 50 cent stop, maybe if I'm, you know, if I'm trying to get uh, 2 to 1 risk to reward or a 1 to 2 risk reward, then I would go for a $1 profit target. So you can see here, I have um, 
my initial order here, 500 shares. Then I have a stop of 50 cents, like the template says, and a target, a limit uh, order to take profit at $1. So that's two times my risk. And then I would have another order at four times my risk and another order at six times my risk. So you can see that you can uh, piece out your um, position as the stock goes in your direction or just cancel the, uh, close them all at, one, at a stop of uh, 50 cents. So I'll just give you an example of that, show you what that looks like. Um, let's see if this will, oh, uh, the uh, time in force is different. Let me switch that, 50 cent stop. Those are all day, that should be right. So let's send an order to the market and you can see now, if that gets executed, then these OCOs will all go into place. But instead of these all being spaced out evenly on the bottom and on the top, I've got all my stops at 50 cents. And I've got my first target at $1, two times my risk. My second stop, or second target at four times my risk, and then at six times my risk. And you can adjust these as well. You could set this up as easily at you know two times, three times, four times, or something like that. Since you know you're rarely probably going to get six times your initial risk, but uh, so you can set that up however you want, and then uh, save the template as a custom template for you to use. Um, and how you do that? So say I pull up my fifty since stop here, or you can just start with whichever one of these preset brackets they, uh, that you like, if you want two targets, or three targets, or just one target. And uh, you can dial in these prices to whatever you want, so uh, I have a 50 cent stop, so maybe uh, instead of two times risk reward you want, um, well instead of uh, four times risk reward maybe you want uh, three times, so we could set this to $1.50 and so that might be a little bit more oops, realistic of a uh, target for us to use. And then maybe you could set this one to, to two, and so that would be a target of two times risk reward, three times risk reward, and four times. And so let's try to send that and see what that looks like. So now you can see we have the initial target is two times the risk, then we have three times the risk, then four times the risk. So it's really powerful. It's a way to, to quickly get into a position with a, um, you know, a preset trade, trade management plan that you use on every trade that you take. You know, say you, you always want to keep your, uh, your risk at uh, a certain size, or maybe you always want to keep your risk, um, you just want to keep it consistent. You know, you, the number of Shares might change, uh, but the, and the size of the stop will change, like that's what I do. So um, if I'm trying to risk $100 on each trade, then um, and I have a $0.10 cent stop, then I would buy 1,000 shares. Um, or a $0.20 cent stop and a $100 risk, I would, uh, I would do 500 shares. So, um, and there's you know a lot of people that teach that type of uh, trade management and everything money management, risk management. Um, and so Thinkorswim allows you to set up those uh, those patterns ahead of time so you can quickly access them here, set your number of shares real quick, and, and then immediately send the order. And you can even bypass the uh, confirmation screen altogether just to immediately get into the position. So that's really powerful, and that's, that's why I really love Active Trader and Thinkorswim. Um, I just wanted to do this since I, I know that not a lot of people um, seem to be using Active Trader, so I wanted to go through it real quick and uh, kind of give an introduction to anybody that hadn't uh, hadn't been aware of it yet. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment below. Um, be sure to subscribe if you find any of this content valuable. I have other videos on here. We do a lot of videos um, to uh, you know, introductions to Thinkorswim and tutorials and everything. So. Um, if uh, you find any value here, just go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button and um, visit us at thinkorswim.net. And um, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.